Health It Monday taping. I'm Dr. Favia and I'm going to be going over MCL injuries. The MCL or the medial collateral ligament, also known as the tibial collateral ligament, connects your femur to your tibia and it runs right through here. Uh, we call this the lateral part of your knee, this is your medial part of the knee and that's why this is called the MCL. The function is to resist forces that come from the outside and go to the inside. So if you're skiing and you make a sudden stop and you go like that, you can injure your MCL. Another way people injure it is playing football. Just like that. My foot went in, my knee went in with my foot staying on the ground and my MCL uh, was stretched. So those are two common ways that people receive MCL injuries. If you have this injury, which is one of the most common knee injuries we see as physicians, you might feel immediate pain. You might hear or feel a popping or tearing sound. Uh, MCL injuries are graded on a scale from one to three, one being the most mild form, three being the most severe form. In mild, you might have a little bit of swelling, you'll have some mild pain and some tenderness on the inside of your knee where your MCL is located. For grade two, you're going to have more pain and more tenderness in the same location, but you also now might have some swelling and you, you might have to limp if you want to walk. Now, grade three is the most severe, and you're going to have a lot of swelling, a lot of pain, a lot of tenderness, and you um, might have like a ton, a ton of fluid there. You might hear a clunk if you try to move your leg in this fashion. There's one major test for MCL injuries. It's called the valgus test. Pretty much in the valgus test, we are applying force from the outside to the inside. And if you feel pain or tenderness, and if we feel a laxity, which means like here is relaxed or you feel a lot of motion in your knee, a lot of play in your knee, then we consider that a positive test and that there is some injury to your MCL. The best way to test for MCL injury is using the valgus test. So valgus means force this way. So what you're going to do is lay down on the floor on the bed somewhere where your leg can be extended. Now it's best if someone performs this test on you, but if you don't have anyone, you can, you can do a self test. Now you're going to have to perform the valgus test on both legs so that you can compare. The goal is to see how much laxity or how relaxed this part of your knee is. So you're going to place your one hand on the outside of your thigh bone and you're going to place your other hand on the inside of your calf and with this outside hand you're going to press inwards on your knee and resist with this left. So I don't have any motion or laxity over here which means that my MCL is intact. If you do have an injury, you'll feel lots of movement right in here um, and possibly uh, pain and tenderness. You can also palpate your knee to see where it is most tender. And if there is tenderness on this inside of your knee, then uh, it could likely be an MCL injury. MCL injuries can also occur at the same time as other injuries, such as meniscus tears or ACL injuries. So it's important to do several tests to see if something else is injured along with your MCL. There are multiple ways that you can tape for MCL injury. In this video, I'm going to go over two of my favorite taping methods, and you can try each one and see which one you feel the most support with. For our first application for MCL injury, we're going to be using an eye strip. So to measure the eye strip, we're going to place the tape on the inside of your shin, go all the way up your inside of your knee where your MCL is, and then you're going to go about halfway up your thigh. And this is where I'm going to make my incision on the tape. To make a proper eye cut, you have to make sure you round the edges 
like so. And now we have an eye cut. So to start taping, place your injured leg in front and have a slight bend with your foot pointing straight in front of you. Apply the anchor with no tension. And you're going to apply it just to the inside of your shin bone with no tension. Now we're going to turn our foot in a little bit. And we're going to apply tendon taping here, which means we're going to use a lot of tension, 75 to 100% tension. 75 for milder cases, 100% for uh, injuries that cause you more pain. So hold down the anchor while you apply the high tension part over your MCL. And then the rest is just paper off tension and then no tension on the anchor. And now we have a nice eye strip giving support for your MCL. So this is your first taping application. For our second MCL application, we're going to be using a Y cut. A Y is just what it sounds like. It looks like a Y. Or I guess it could look like a person like walking around. Um, so to make this Y cut for our MCL, first we're going to measure from the inside of your shin bone right here Go all the way up to where your MCL is and then travel up about one third up your thigh. This is a little shorter than our first application that went up about halfway. So we're going to go down to here and we're going to make a little bit of a snip. To make this Y cut, we're going to place this tape back on our leg with the anchor right at our shin and where your the tape goes to the top of your knee make a fold in the tape. Now we're going to cut the tape in half up to that fold. Make sure to round the edges so that the tape doesn't get caught on your clothing and come off. And you round the edges on the Y strips arms as well. So for this application we're actually going to be sitting down. You need to find a chair that your foot can be comfortably on the floor and flat and your leg at about 90 degrees. I'm going to apply the anchor with no tension right on the inside of my shin. And before you apply the severe tension on your MCL, first move your foot inwards. Hold the anchor while I apply about 75% tension on my MCL, and then the rest is paper off tension. From here, I'm going to adjust the first strip, that more outer strip, but then I'm going to straighten my leg and apply the more inner strip. I rub the tape. If you're finding that this part is uncomfortable, then you can actually take it off a little bit and use less tension so you don't feel any of the tape pulling on your skin. So this is our second way to apply tape for an MCL injury.